Wealthy Americans think gentrification is saving Puerto Rico. I have more to share. There's always more. So a quick recap, Americans are moving to Puerto Rico under Act 60, 22, and 20, which are tax incentive laws, and they're displacing Puerto Ricans from their homes and their communities that they've always lived in. And it's just colonialism and gentrification happening in real time. And Americans, however, who are doing this, think that they're saving Puerto Rico by bringing their wealth. But they aren't. So here we have a Canadian investor who, one, is insulting Puerto Ricans who are protesting Act 1622, and then goes on to say that Hawaiians don't exactly like gringos, but they take the money, bow and serve tourists, and appreciate their homes going up in value year after year. This is a good example of why Puerto Rican liberation is tied to the liberation of Hawaii, Guam, Northern Mariana Islands, and all other U.S. colonies. Then we have this dude who lacks any sort of historical understanding of U.S. imperialism in Puerto Rico. Also thinks it's funny that the U.S. sterilized many, many, many Puerto Rican women without their consent and who were also used as test subjects for modern-day birth control pills. I don't know why none of these people use punctuation, but... Here's another one from a Facebook group that says, If there were no Act 60, I would never come to this dump if there were no Act 60, to be honest with you. And this is the last one I'm going to show, because I think it sums up how Americans view Puerto Rico and Puerto Ricans. So the TikTok that I stitched for this video made its way to Instagram, and this woman commented on the initial video. Um, and I had replied to her initial comment saying that if she cared so much about Puerto Ricans like she says she does, stop dismissing us, uh, our concerns, and actually listen. And this was her response, and I'll give you the highlights. First one is, I'm giving my hard-earned money to the island and all you're doing is complaining. Do you have millions of dollars to give to PR? No? Okay, then take a seat and be grateful. And have you ever heard of the saying, don't bite the hand that feeds you? Don't bite the hand that feeds you. So this is why I wanted to end with that one because these people think that they're making Puerto Rico better or that they're saving it um, and that their wealth will solve all of Puerto Rico's economic or political problems. Um, and also that they think poverty or hunger or low wages is like a personal failure and not a systemic one. My eye is twitching talking about this. Oh my god. So all of their charity, all this money that they're giving to Puerto Rico that they, they say in the comments, um, is charity that they're legally obligated to donate as part of x 6 year 22. Um, and then they use that to say that they support Puerto Ricans, but we know that they're not interested in supporting Puerto Rico or Puerto Ricans at all. What they are interested in, though, is increasing their wealth at any cost, and Puerto Ricans are expendable to them if it means that they can increase their wealth. And if Act 60 were abolished today, these people would up and leave because they don't care about Puerto Rico.